Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm doing a deck review of the Chinese Fortune Reading Cards by Sharina Starr. Okay, so I got this deck yesterday um, after I saw Vix with New Age Chipster working with it, um, I believe like a couple of months ago, I was like, I had my eye on this. Um, it was available for pre-order on Amazon. Um, I went to Rockpool's website and um, it was already available, you know, um, not in the United States, but I could have it shipped over here, but it just seemed like, you know, quite a bit. Um, so, you know, I was just patient and I waited my couple of months for it to be available on Amazon. And then I got it. So yay! Okay. Um, so it's got a nice hard box and it's got that lovely magnetic closure, which I dig. So here's the box here lovely backing and let's go ahead and open her up okay so there was a like a little I don't know piece of cardboard in here that could kind of keep your cards from uh, falling all over the place but I tend to like just want to grab my cards so I want I want the cards on top and I usually have the guidebook underneath um, but if you look inside it's got um, this lovely patterning which I think is just awesome sauce okay so guidebook first okay taking a look um, I love that it's color it's glossy um, it's like a proper book <laughs> and not just one of the the toss away books okay so she gives a little introduction on uh, kind of the basics of the cards um, and how you could read these because it has just a very simple keyword on there so um, some people might get a little stumped um, so she just kind of helps out a little bit with that okay so it goes right into the meanings of the card so this is exactly what the card would look like and it would say this keyword on there but then there's a, a little bit uh, more information in case you needed it and then down here it gives you just some general information if you were pulling it looking for a career in finances what that could mean what relationships could mean and then this is the best part this is actually the part that I look at which is the feng shui tip um, so let's say you did pull this card let's say you pulled the new beginnings card your feng shui tip is Declutter your computer and your phone by deleting old emails junk mail and organizing your folders Clean up your workspace and try to ensure that at least a third of your desk is clear of papers, books, and general clutter. To help messages and communication of good fortune get through, place your mobile phone in a red or highly ornate cover. Okay, so you might be asking um, who is the author to be giving these feng shui tips. Well, um, if you read up on uh, Sharina Starr, not just what it says here in the guidebook, but she's actually... Um, kind of a, a feng shui master <laughs> you know she's um she's very um knowledgeable in um that area she's she's got a lot of a lot of background um and it's nice that it's been just nicely condensed in this book okay going on to our deck i just want to look at the cards first so if you read Oracle and Reversal, which I don't think many people do, but this would be really hard to do. They are rather glossy, um, but I just kind of want to show you the, the backs because they're beautiful. And it's it's actually yellow, it's not gold, but it kind of looks like it's gold. Um, it's very flexy, but not cheap and not too stiff, which I like. Um, so let's go ahead and just quickly flip through the cards. Okay, so I love how, if you look closely, um, it's an actual photograph, but you know, by the use of like Photoshop, they've been able to do like layers of, um, you know, certain design, which I just think it makes it look pretty awesome sauce. And sometimes it's not always photographs, sometimes it's pictures, but they're also uh, layered as well. Now I did go on to Google Translate and I will show um, my acupuncturist, Dr. Wang, who actually um, is 
um, from Taiwan and <laughs> I'm going to ask her um, if the actual uh, symbols up here match the keyword down here because sometimes in translation they're a little off. I mean according to Google Translate it's okay but sometimes I want to ask somebody who speaks and reads Mandarin Chinese. This is a card that I pulled last night, which was awesome. I love how simple they are. I love the simple keywords, but you can kind of just get lost in the glimpse of the image that you do get and actually I pulled this card for myself this morning actually let me set that card aside so I could put that back on my nightstand okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a shuffle shuffle so you can see how well they mix um, they are quite large um, and again I don't have man hands but <laughs> I am able to shuffle them Okay, I'm glad that they have a little bit of bend to them because I am bending them a little bit to shuffle. Okay, so if I were, let's say, going to do a three card spread with these, this is kind of how it would lay out. All right, so it would look something like that. All right, if you guys dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions on this deck, just let me know. Um, if you have this deck, let me know how it's working for you. Are you using the feng shui tips? Um, are you using it a lot differently than the guidebook? Um, you know, as I did, I always encourage people to kind of do their own thing, you know, whatever resonates with you. Um, if you haven't clicked subscribe, you better get yourself subscribed. And I'll see you sport, spiritual homies later. All right, peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.